Hey you guys, welcome back. So today I have a really fun try on haul for you guys. Um, as you can tell by the title, I'm trying on a bunch of my mom's old vintage clothes. Recently I um, went to her house to help her clear out her storage space and she had like boxes and boxes of clothes that she's not gone through in a really long time. I've always really loved her style, especially from when she was my age or like in her late teens, like mid 20s. I just always thought she had like really cute taste so I love going through her stuff and she let me take home pretty much everything that I wanted to take but I got a, quite a few tops and some bottoms and I'm really excited to show them to you guys. Also we got hit with a pretty good snowstorm last night so if you can hear like sounds outside it's just my neighbors snowblowers and shovels and all of that. Uh, I'm not shoveling shit right now, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. So the first thing I have here is this Ralph Lauren polo um, sweater. It's just a big comfy crew neck. I honestly don't know if this is like a real Ralph Lauren sweater or not, or if it, she got some like random knockoff. But regardless, it's really cute and um, it's really warm actually. I've been wearing it the last couple days because it's been like negative 30 in Toronto. But I really like it and yeah, I'm definitely going to be wearing it a lot throughout the winter. So the next top was like the first one that I pulled out of one of the boxes and I was immediately in love with it. And it's this really cute like little tank top. It's kind of like a vest style, which I really like. I just love the color scheme. Like I think it's so classic and it is a little cropped. It hits like just around my belly button. So my midriff shows and this is a pair of like low rise jeans or like a little skirt or even just like yoga pants. It's so cute. And this is from the brand called Backstage. I don't know if it's still around. Next I have this really cute little baby crop top. This is very like Brandy Melville-esque. Like honestly, I this is kind of like what their clothes look like already, which I thought was really funny. And this is from the brand Bayou. I also have this little gray crop top. It just says Babe Las Vegas on it. And um, I had a cousin who used to work at the Disney store like in the early 2000s so we have a lot of like Disney merch so I'm assuming that's where she got it because my mom's not really into Disney but this is really cute even though Babe is like kind of a sad movie. I've been wearing this a lot lately with like a pair of low rise jeans and I just think it's such a cute um, just little casual t-shirt. I'm obsessed. This next one is really just a basic black tank top. Nothing really too special but I do love the cut. I feel like it's hard to find tank tops now with this like cut of the sleeve and like where it hits me again like it just shows a little bit of my midriff i feel like now tops are always like really really cropped or they're like spaghetti strap or even just like a smaller racer back which is cute too but i just really love the style of these tank tops and this one's not super fitted so i'm excited to wear it with like high-waisted shorts or something in the summer and this is from the brand dex bros Next is another really cute tank top from that brand Backstage. This is something that's a little out of my comfort zone just because of the color. You guys know that I mainly wear dark colors. And this is like a really soft, like thicker material, kind of like the other Backstage top. And again, it's really nice and fitted and it hits me right about my belly button. So I think it's just like a nice length. This top is another one that's like so reminiscent to me of like Brandy Melville. Like I swear they have stuff that looks just like this. But again, this is just another little cropped t-shirt. Um, with some stripes. I think it's a really cute little basic. I don't know what the brand is because the tag is pretty faded off, but I think it would look so nice with even like a little denim skirt or um, like high-waisted jeans even. Okay, the next one is like my favorite piece that I have. I'm so excited to wear it. It's just this brown like corset top. It's so pretty and I remember a few years ago I found this in the basement of my mom's and I was like, mom, what the hell is that? Like I can't believe you were wearing that and I didn't think it was cute at all and then recently when I saw it again I was completely in love with it like I just love the detail on it of like the little tie up on the corset and I love the material it's like that faux like velvety like velour material um and it's from the brand 725 original so I'm pretty sure she got this at like Walmart or something which is awesome but yeah it's super cute and like the cups on the top are really thick so it's not something I would need a bra with and it's like lined with lace I'm just so excited to get some use out of this this summer. I think it would look really cute with um, like a little skirt. And actually she told me that she would have paired this with this denim skirt. And I don't really like them together, but if she would wear it, then it's probably cute. Uh, so I used it for like the try on portion, but she also gave me this little denim skirt and I love it because it has like 
a little tie up here instead of a zipper and button so it's a little bit more adjustable and then also it has belt loops so if I need a belt and it's from the brand Silver she used to love their jeans and stuff so she has quite a few of those and I'm really happy that this skirt fit me because it's so cute and I actually don't own any denim skirts but yeah she said she would have paired this with the brow top because of like the little ties I think I would pair with like a black skirt <laughs> but if Anita would wear it then I should probably try it anyways this next one is just a really cute little baby, um, like a little baby doll tank top. Again, something that I know I could probably find at Brandy Melville. It's just really detailed with lace and like little lace detailing even on the actual um, top. I just think it's really um, basic and cute and again, I just feel like it fits me so well and like cuts me off at such a nice place. And it's from the brand Stone. But yeah, I'm excited to wear this in the summer. I don't own a lot of white tops at all, so I'm really happy to have something like this. And I like this one because the material is a little bit thicker, so it's not super see-through. Speaking of white tops, I wasn't too sure how I felt about this one at first. But once I tried it on, I actually really liked it. Again, it's out of my comfort zone with the color. Um, but I just love the shape of it and it's a little bit lower in the front that I would normally wear But when I tried it on like with the normal bra on and stuff it actually looked really cute And I'm really excited to wear this like on a night out or just to go out for lunch or something and this is from the brand H&G hip and gorgeous she had a, she has a lot of tops from this brand you guys will see later in the haul This is another one that's like out of my comfort zone But I think it's so cute and it's actually one of my favorites. It's very like it just reminds me of Lizzie McGuire honestly, but the front here has this little like tie um, in the front. I just think it's really flattering and I like the sleeves too. It's not a t-shirt, but it's also not like a tank top. I do love the colors. I'm excited to wear this in the summertime um, when I get a little bit of sunshine. I think it's gonna look so pretty and I'm excited to wear this with that denim skirt. I think it'd be like such a cute outfit. And this is from the brand called Khaki Crew, so. Yeah, I think it's really cute. I have another tank top from Hip and Gorgeous, and it's just this little dark, like, navy blue and light blue tank top. Um, this one's not my favorite, but I wasn't gonna, like, not take it home anyways. I do think it would look really cute with just a plain pair of jeans and, like, a hoodie over it, um, like, like a zip-up hoodie. And I do like the color scheme a lot. I think it's, like, more in my comfort zone. And again, I just think the cut is really flattering, so I'm excited to get some use out of that this summer. This one I don't know if I'll wear as much. This is also from Hip and Gorgeous, but this one is a little bit more like loose fitted. Um, it kind of just reminds me of like a little vest. I think I would wear this with like a long sleeve shirt underneath it or like maybe a t-shirt underneath. I'm not really sure yet. I could totally wear it on its own, but just the material, it reminds me of like a like a bikini cover and it's not a bikini cover but that's kind of just what it reminds me of and it's just like navy blue and white which is really i think classic in the summertime too next i have such a cute top and again this totally reminds me of like lizzie mcguire but this is one of my favorites and it's from the brand next issue it's just this little t-shirt with like a zipper and it's got like a little daisy there and it also has a little hoodie which is so cute like I'm so excited to wear this this summer and like in the springtime. I just think it's so classic. And again, it's like just not super cropped, but it is a little bit cropped and I just think it's really fun. I love the little zipper detail. It's just like the cutest I'm obsessed. Next, I have a pair of just cute little khakis and these are from the brand ASI. She told me that she got these at Costco and I actually do have quite a few hoodies that were hers that are from the brand ASI too. So I know she was an ASI girl. But they are just wide legs, not even wide leg, like boot cut little khakis. These are a little bit tight on me, like I wish that they were one size bigger, but whatever, I'm going to just stretch them out and make them fit because I love them. And I think these would look so cute with that like Ralph Lauren um, pullover. They do look almost exactly like my uniform pants from high school though, so it kind of triggered me, but... And then the last piece is like one of my favorites, and I tried to save the best for last because I think it's so cute. And it's also so out of my comfort zone, but it's this little hip and gorgeous vest. Like, come on, you guys. It's so pretty. It's got this, like, iridescent, almost, like, reflective material. It's not super thick, and it's definitely looser, like it is a vest. And in the try-on, I paired it with, like, a white mock neck turtleneck underneath. And I normally don't wear that many light colors at once, but I think this is so cute, especially for the winter season, like... 
I definitely think this is gonna be like a Valentine's Day fit for me but I'm so excited to wear this and I've like never seen any pictures of my mom wearing any of this stuff so I think it's really cute that she had it for so long and she took such good care of her clothes like everything is in such good condition there's no stains like she just really took good care of her stuff and I'm so happy that I get to wear this now. It's actually so bittersweet that I got to go through my mom's stuff and like take so many pieces home because I'm actually moving away soon. Um, I'm moving like literally across the country and I've never been that far away from my parents for like an extended period of time. So it's really nice that I get to take like a little piece of my mom with me and especially since I'm kind of around the age group where she was wearing that stuff, I just think it's so fun to like give these pieces another life. Like through her daughter. Um, I'm also just really sentimental, so it's probably not that deep, but for me, it's just like, it's really special. But mom, if you're watching this, thank you, and I love you, and I can't wait to send you pictures and all this stuff. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know in the comments what your favorite piece was, if you have one, or if you guys wanna see a styling video with any of these pieces, I'd be happy to film one. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.